Ladies and gentlemen, she's the relationship expert for Lava Life. She's a millionaire matchmaker and the executive producer of a match made in Houston. Everybody, give it up for your first comedian of the day, Amber Neal. Carwin tonight. I'm so glad everybody could come out in, in spite of all the rain and traffic and everything. Welcome to Houston if you're new to Houston. Who is here to see Charles Allen? That's the noise. All right. Did you guys have to drive all the way from Crockett? <laughs> um, and last of all, but not least, who's here to see John Stringer, our headliner? couples in the house. So singles make some noise. That's pathetic. Try it again, honey. Mistress counts. Okay. Where are the couples in the house? I always need to know who I'm going to talk to first. I think the couples won that one. All right, you guys. Are you guys ready for some fun tonight? Awesome. We have a really good show for you. We apologize that the, the singles mixer ran a little bit late, didn't really get to happen. So we are going to still have it in the lobby after the show for about 30 minutes. So if you're single, come hang out with me. I'd love to get to know you, all right? But um, I do want to talk to the couples because if you have a man or a lady and you want to keep them, there's a few things that I've noticed through the years of being a matchmaker. Maybe could give you some tips, right? Ladies, let me tell you something. When your man gets home, give him 30 minutes of silence. Don't say anything, right? Shut the fuck up. He don't give a fuck about your neighbor or the dog, that bitch at work. He don't give a fuck. Give him 30 minutes. I'm even willing to go out on a limb and say the only thing that you should say is aww. If you're a little drunk, that's all. <laughs> Shit. Cheaters will go out of business. The floral shops will get back in business. Hell, spice it up. Be his secretary. Meet him at the plane. Hey, baby, do you have a long flight? Let me get your bags. Come on, baby. let me get your bags. He'll come home, all right? All I'm saying is get on your knees, be his secretary, and learn to take some dick. Tation. Feel me? That's all I got for y'all. IJS. You gotta suck it if you wanna keep it. For you little slow people. Alright, singles! Now listen, I'm up here to tell y'all because the number one thing I get as a matchmaker is why are you a single matchmaker? Okay? Listen, I'm a matchmaker. I'm not a freaking magician, okay? I don't have a wand out there that's like, you do not see my fat. You do not see my fat. You do not see my big feet. I don't have that, you know, because people, you know, ladies are always like, I want a guy with big feet, because you know what that means. But what about a girl with big feet? That is not as sexy, is it? I had a guy actually break up with me. We were go everything was great. He had one rule. He's like, I like to do it with the lights on. I'm like, well, I'm a little insecure about that, but you know what? I like you enough, I'm gonna do it. So we went to get intimate. My legs went up, and the room got dark as hell. <laughs> Look more like skis. I'm embarrassed to leave my flip-flops in the green room. Somebody's going to see him and want to go waterboard him. Hell. But uh, anyway, so that's, you know, that's one of my problems. I met this one guy. You know, it was kind of a long-distance relationship. Like, I live in Katy. He lives in Spring. It was hard to see each other. You know how it is. 
But one day he's like, hey babe, I wanna spice up our relationship. I'm like, cool, what's going on? He's like, I got a prostate massager. I'm like, boo, you can't light dig more than me, okay? <laughs> Next, goodbye. Freaks come out around me, I don't know what it is. And you know, I met this one guy and he's like, I don't like big girls, are you a big girl? I'm like, well, what do you call a big girl? He's like, if your legs touch when they're open, <laughs> your ass is too big. I'm like, <laughs> well, since we're being brutally honest and everything, if your wallet ain't bulging, then your pants better be. <laughs> you know, just gotta keep it, keep it real. But ladies, what is, okay, I'm gonna say ladies, but I know a lot of gay dudes have also helped crash the internet this week. Have y'all seen that Jeremy Meeks guy, the criminal, this hot as hell? Don't judge me, I did download a picture on my phone for a rainy day. But what's the deal? We're glorifying, he's got, he's got a criminal record, oh, you know, now he's out there, like, I've got uh, arms charges and stuff. We've got women that have paid $4,000 on his bail. Are you serious? Oh, I gotta have a thug. Oh, it's okay, honey. You've only been locked up four times. Even Jesus said to forgive. No. Come on, ladies. We gotta do better than that. For real. We all like a bad boy, but I am writing that. Jeremy Meeks is exactly why I'm single at 40, okay? I had to have a thug passion in my life in my 20s to piss my day the fuck off. It didn't work out in my favor, that's all I'm saying. It didn't work out. So I am writing a book right now called How My Pussy Betrayed Me. Y'all think I'm kidding. Dead serious. But my mama was like, you know, Amber, I don't think that's gonna reach the church girls. I don't really think that's gonna help the young girls that you don't want to fall in your footsteps. I'm like, are you kidding me? I was friends with the pastor's daughter. Trust me, they need it worse than I do, okay? But she's like, well, maybe you should change the name. I'm like, okay, I'll change the name to a hoe in remission. Cause that's what I am. I'm a hoe in remission. So now you know my secret. All right, you guys, we're gonna keep this show going. We want you guys to tip it, to treat your waist up really good. They're gonna be around to so take good, really good care of you. Are you guys ready for your next comedian? I don't believe you. All right, that sounds better. This next guy coming up, he is short. He is hot. And he is gay, gay, gay. All right. Y'all put 